This video is the second one on creating two-dimensional plots in MATLAB. What will be discussed are how to plot a function and also how to plot multiple things in one window using a few different techniques. Specifically, we'll look at how to plot a simply defined two-variable equation such as y is some function of x, how to plot a parametric equation where both y and x are defined as functions of some other variable like t, then how to plot multiple things with a single plot command, or how to use the hold on, hold off commands, or the subplot commands in order to get multiple things in one window. First, let's look at how to plot a simply defined two variable function, such as y is a function of x. I'll show that by plotting the function y equals x squared times the cosine of x for the domain x from negative 2 pi to positive 2 pi. One way to plot a function like this is with the command f plot for function plot. You can send to this command any function of one variable where that variable is a single letter. Be sure that a variable with that letter doesn't exist in the workspace so you can see I have a clear workspace. You send the function in single quotes so you send it as a string so here's y equals x squared times the cosine of x send that function as a string and then next an array which is the limits for your independent variable x. So I'll say negative 2 pi positive 2 pi. And with that we get a plot of y equals x squared times cosine of x from x is negative 2 pi to x is positive 2 pi. Another way to plot a function is to use the plot command and for that we need an array of x values and an array of y values so I'll start off by creating an array of x values negative 2 pi counting up by some small amount like 0 0.01 up to positive 2 pi so now we can see that resulted in x being an array of 1257 values between negative 2 pi and positive 2 pi and now y we set as all of those x values squared times the cosine of each of those x values. We have to use the dot exponentiation and dot multiplication here to be sure that we're setting these y values according to each of these x values squared and multiplied by the cosine of x. So now we have a matching set of x values and y values according to this function x squared cosine x and we can use just the plot command plot x y and we get our plot again. This second method is more general creating an array of x values followed by an array of y values and then using the plot command and we can use it for example to plot a parametric function. So let's get an array of t values, that'll be our independent variable in this parametric equation, and we'll plot t from 0 up to 100 for this function. x will be defined as 4 times the sine of 12 thirteenths t. Let's get another pair of parentheses in there, just to be sure. And y is defined as 3 times the sine of t. So with that we have our array of x values and our array of y values defined according to this parametric equation and again we can plot x versus y. And we get this kind of nice looking curve from that parametric function. Now let's look at how to plot multiple things so for example let's plot the function y equals 3x cubed minus 10x squared plus 5 along with its first and second derivatives. So we'll plot this from x having values negative 2 to positive 4 so let's start off by clearing all our variables and we'll set x to be negative 2 counting up by 0 0.01 up to 4 that'll be our x range of values that we're going to plot First, let's get our y values. So again, y equals 3 times x cubed minus 10 times x squared plus 5. 
again using dot exponentiation to make sure that we set all of our y values according to each of the x values run through this function. Okay, I'm also going to define, since I want to plot on the same graph the derivative of this function, an array of values that I'll call dy dx, and the derivative of that function will be 9x squared minus 20x, and the second derivative, I'll call it d2y dx2, would be 18x minus 20. Okay, if I want to plot them all on the same graph, the function and its derivative and its second derivative, then I can use the plot command, and instead of just putting a single x and a single y, and perhaps some modifiers for its appearance, I can repeat x, y modifiers, x, y modifiers, x, y modifiers. So first I'll plot x versus y, and I'll make that a black line. Then I'll plot x versus the derivative, and maybe I'll make that a blue dashed line, and then I'll plot x versus the second derivative, and I'll make that a red dotted line. So there we have in black the function, in blue dashes the derivative, and in red dots the second derivative. All in the same graph. There's two other ways you can plot multiple things. One, let's create a new blank plot window with the command clf. And then if I use the command hold on, that means from now on, every time I use the plot command, keep it on this same graph window. So I can plot x versus y with a black solid line, plot x versus dy dx with a blue dashed line, Let's see where we are in the figure, and now I'll add to it x versus the second derivative with the red dotted line. And again, we have all three items on the same graph. This hold on and to turn it off, hold off command can be really useful, especially when you're plotting things point by point. Another way, a slightly different way, to get multiple plots on the same window is to use the command subplot. This is a way that you can break up a graph window into multiple uh, subplots within the same window, so multiple graphs in the same window. For example, subplot 221 means give me a 2 by 2 configuration, two rows, two columns of graph windows. And right now, let me plot in the first one. I can put there plot x versus y. So now that graph is in the first of a two column by two row set of graphs. And now if I say subplot 222, two, two, that means put the next thing I graph into this second window of the subplot. Here I can plot x versus dy dx, maybe in black. There's our derivative. And lastly, down here I'll plot the second derivative, maybe in red. Okay, so an additional way to plot multiple things in the same window.